Now then YouTube, I am the Toth Man and welcome to some more Liverpool news where today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what I saw the other night with, well the other night, I say the other night, it was this morning actually, against Brisbane Raw um, with, the, uh, with, with, with the friendly. And I'm going to talk about Liverpool's apparent, you know, that they've met the release clause of 32.5 million for Christian Benteke. First and foremost with the Brisbane Raw. I watched that, and I have to say, it had a typical kind of pre-season about it. Although it was more into, it was definitely more intensive than when they played the uh, the Thai All Stars. But um, get definitely, you know, Brisbane gave us more of a game than what the Thai All Stars did. But um, some positives to take out from it. I really do think that James Milner will do an absolutely cracking job. But Danny, uh, but Danny Ings, to be honest. Quick feet, look, he looked sharp, and he did look sharp. And another player that really, I think, that I looked at it and I thought, he's, look, he's looking decent, Joe Gomez, one of the new signings as well, looking absolutely quality. However, it is only against Brisbane Raw. we would have to see what uh, these guys do uh, in the likes of the Premier League against the big clubs and a big, uh, against the big hitters. So uh, you really can't tell how good they're going to be during the season. Now, the other thing I want to talk about today, guys, is Christian Benteke. Don't get me wrong. I think he is an absolutely wonderful striker. I think he's brilliant. I think he's absolutely class at what he does. And he does it very, very well. Um, he's strong in the air. He's, he's great in the air. And he's an all-around big bastard. That's what he's about. So, you know, what I... It doesn't fit into Liverpool's philosophy, though. And this is what worries me. If you're going to spend £32.5 million... Pounds, you better fucking use the striker properly. Properly, if you use Benteke properly, he could be an amazing signing. I can't see that happening. I literally cannot see that happening. I see another Andy Carroll happening here. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Fingers crossed we do go and you know sign him because I, I really honestly do. And a lot of Liverpool fans are going mad and saying, "Oh, you should be spending it on this. You should be spending it on that." No, we should be sending it, spending it on a striker. We know who can score goals. And he scored over 10 goals every season for the last three seasons. Is it three seasons or two seasons? I can't remember. But um, he scored over 10 goals every season for Aston Villa, who were a struggling side at the moment. So that is no mean feat. You know, and it's, if he gets the right kind of balls you know, being whipped into there. And I think with the addition of James Milner, Dan Nathaniel Klein, um, when we get Flanagan back... Where, you know these and Alberto Moreno as well. When we get, we do get balls in the box, but we're so shit in the box. We've got no strength in the box that it's an issue. So we're forced to having to play the ball on the floor all the fucking time. So I think when we do, if we do get Ben Seke and we stick him up there, the balls will get flied. Uh, flied? Flew? You know what I mean? Uh, English guys. It's my first language. All I'm shit at. But yeah, I think the the um, the balls will get put into the box there. And, uh, and I think that Benteke is definitely the man to get on the end of those. And I, I really do think it could be a good signing if we use him properly. That is the biggest thing for me. Use him fucking properly. There are other people saying, oh, get fucking Benzema. Benzema's never going to come to Liverpool. I was, let's be quite honest. Benzema's never going to come to Liverpool. Stop fucking dreaming. Same with Marco Royce. I mean, it would be amazing to see that guy there. But he is essentially... Another person who could use across the, the, you know, a front three, but isn't an out-and-out -out striker. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, guys. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think that uh, Benteke is a, uh, what it will be a great signing if we do get him. Apparently, we've met the valuation of 32 and a half, that minimum fee release clause. And uh, we'll see what happens. We will certainly see what happens in the few, uh, few days coming up. I'm going to catch the game against, is it Melbourne? Is it Melbourne? I can't remember who the fuck it was now. Let me go and have a quick gander. While I'm here, guys, let me have a quick gander. It was against some fucker. City of fucking signed Delph. Are you having a laugh? Just to... This, the reason why they're selling these... Uh, why they're buying these fucking uh, English players is literally only to get their fucking quarter up. So let me see. Fixtures. It's Adelaide, not uh, Melbourne. So Adelaide... On the uh, on Monday the twentieth, I think I don't know if that's going to be harder or easier. It's a ten thirty kickoff, which is good for me. Kids will be at school anyway, so it's ledge. And then the Malaysia eleven back over there, and then a Helsinki, and then Stoke on the 9th of August away from home. 
not looking forward to it, guys. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it at all. I really want to see I, I, Firmino and, you know, the, the Coutinho. I want to see a full-on first team out there and to see what they will play like. Um, I don't know. I think maybe Helsinki might be the place for that. I, don't, I really don't know. I really don't know when they're going to come back. Let me just have a quick gander, see what fucking Delft's been bought for. Um, it's now been signed on a five-year deal with City. It's been signed for eight million. Eight million. Mind you, I really don't think that Delph is going to get much game time at all, so maybe he's just moved for the fucking money. My decision was, um, to stay it was init uh, initially was purely based on the emotion and feelings that I hold for the club and the people there rather than looking at the football, football opportunity I had placed in front of me. Rather, rather, more than look at the fucking money that was placed in front of me. It's literally just to get the English contingent in there. You fucking silly bastard. You should have stayed where you were. Games week in, week out. I just don't get it. I don't get why players... No, I do. It's fucking Wongridge, isn't it? It's all about the Wongridge, guys. It's all about the Wongridge. Anyways, that's going to be it for the end of uh, this Liverpool news, guys. Again, like I said, give me your comments, your suggestions and stuff like that in the uh, in, in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Christian Benteke. I personally think he's a is a decent player if we you can if we can use him right and if indeed we do sign him in the first place. So until next time, guys, I've been Softman as always. Stay safe.